हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज श्रुति श्रीवास्तव कंप्यूटर टीचर फ्रॉम माउंट लिट्रा जी स्कूल झांसी आई होप यू ऑल आर टेकिंग गुड केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड स्टार्टिंग वेल सो टुडे वील गोइंग टू बिगिन अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज नेमिंग एंड ऑर्गेनाइजिंग फाइल्स सो लेट्स बिगिन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स गेट टू नो अबाउट वॉट इज अ फाइल सो any content created using a computer such as a picture or text is saved as a file and always remember that we should choose a file name that tells us something about the content of the file that means whatever the file contains that too without opening it now a question arises that why is it important to choose suitable names for the files and folders so the answer is because the name tells us what that file or folder contains for example as you can see in this picture the students has saved their file according to the content as painting house story fingers song jangan etc now let's get to know about file extensions so file names have extensions whenever we used to save any file with any name it is always followed by an extension which shows what kind of file it is suppose a file contain images so its file extension will be either .png or .jpg then if it is a music file its file extension will be either .avi or .mp3 whereas in the case of text files it could be .txt or .doc or .docx you might have noticed that there is something common in the file extension yes it always begin with a dot Now let us see what are folders so folders helps us in organizing related documents or files together or locating important files quickly as you can see in this picture yellow folders are present on this screen and different different files are available at the left hand side so any type of file can be stored in any of the folder we used to save many kinds of files into different different folders especially at the desktop when many files or folders appears on the desktop our desktop looks untidy so we can manage our desktop by moving files into different different folders by using drag and drop action we can simply drag the files into a folder it will make our desktop tidy and arranged now whenever a folder look is located within another folder it is called a subfolder whereas the main folder is always called the parent folder and folders and subfolders helps us in organizing a files now we can see two types of operating system on our screen first one is ubuntu and second one is windows these are the operating systems which are commonly used nowadays as you can see in windows operating system the main folder that is parent folder is available on the desktop and whatsoever is saved within that folder are the sub folders same you can see in ubuntu operating system the main folder is the parent folder and whatsoever folders are saved within that are the sub folders i hope you all have understood this much rest of the topics we'll going to discuss in our next video thank you for watching